Let's talk threads. A deep dive into clothing types. Hello, learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we are going to explore the different types of clothing that people wear. We'll look into shirts, pants, dresses, skirts, and suits. It's time to expand your vocabulary, so let's dive right in. When we talk about shirts, we are referring to a garment that covers the upper body. Shirts come in many styles and materials, but the most common ones are t-shirts, polo shirts, and dress shirts. T-shirts are casual and usually made of cotton. They have a round neckline and short sleeves. Polo shirts are a bit more formal than t-shirts. They have a collar and a few buttons at the neck. Dress shirts are the most formal. They are often worn with suits and ties, and they typically have long sleeves, a collar, and buttons down the front. Moving downwards, let's discuss pants. Pants cover both legs separately and extend from the waist to the ankles. Common types of pants include jeans, trousers, and shorts. Jeans are made from denim, a tough and durable fabric. They are a staple in casual wear. Trousers are more formal and are usually made of lighter material than jeans. They are commonly worn in business and formal settings. Shorts are like pants, but they only cover the body from the waist to the knees. They're perfect for warm weather. Next up, we have dresses, skirts, and suits. A dress is a one-piece garment for women and girls that covers the body and extends down over the legs. Dresses can be casual or formal. A skirt is a separate garment that hangs from the waist and covers all or part of the legs. Like dresses, skirts can also be casual or formal. A suit is a set of garments made from the same cloth. It usually consists of a jacket and trousers or a skirt. Suits are typically worn in formal settings or professional environments. That's a wrap for today's lesson on types of clothing. I hope you found it informative and interesting. Remember, expanding your vocabulary is a continuous journey. So, keep practicing these new words and phrases, and you'll be a master at describing clothing in no time. Until next time, happy learning!